Happening now and all weekend long, it's the 87th annual Rice Festival in Crowley. It celebrates and honors the rice industry and its hardworking farmers, but it's also one of the, of the state's oldest and largest agricultural festivals. News 15's Jeff Horchek and Drake Carr Francois join us with live team coverage and a closer look at all the festivities. Hey guys. All right, uh, hi everybody and welcome to the 87th annual Rice Festival here in Crowley. I tell you what, should be a uh, fun night. You've got a lot of weekend activities, and the weather's looking pretty good, Dracar. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, bands playing, and a lot of things just going on. A lot of vendors, a lot of food, and guys, if you could, uh, look, let's pull up this video right here, and we'll show them what was taking place here earlier. Guys, if you can see right here, if you can see right here, this is a pre as you can see, fire trucks, and there's multiple things going on here. And guys, just like we just heard from Jeff Forchek, this is the rice festival. So, what's the rice festival without you? As you look right here at the screen, this is fettuccine and different products and things going on. And here is also where you get food for the rest of the weekend. Take a listen. Crowley family come and join us at Boot 24 to grab something delicious to eat. We have a variety of different foods. We have turkey legs, sweet doughs and pies, macaroni bowls, okra, you name it, we got it. Come and join us again at Oye Customs Boot 24. Come and get something delicious to eat. All right, we're here back with another great vendor here at the Rice Festival. Two, food, huh? two Bros Kitchen, uh, Brandon Schneckstein. Brandon, you and your brother started serving here at the festival, what, six years ago, and you got a, quite a display of food. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, we've been doing it, we enjoy it. It's a good way to get people to, to know who we are and stuff. Uh, one day we might uh, be able to do a food truck, so we're just trying to get some people to recognize us. Yeah, now, uh, like you were saying, uh, you've been here for six years at the Rice Festival. Talk about how does it feel to be here on uh, today and be here throughout the weekend? Brandon, show us some of the food. You have some jambalaya, which obviously has local rice in it. You got this, uh, what, what is this? Rice? Shrimp on a, right. stick? on a stick, yeah. onion blossom, and lemonade. And lemonade. These are your main items, huh? Yeah, these are our most popular items. You can see the menu here too. They got uh, boudin balls, potato ribbons, platter, funnel cake. I mean, just a limit, a lot of a lot of items. And again, you're using local rice, I guess, in this jambalaya, correct? Local rice, yes, sir. All local, baby. All local. Yeah, and and this is where you keep it. And you know, you said you got the base right here at Crowley. So you know, talk about you know how does it feel to you know like put right back into the economy? But basically, you know, how do you get started? Yeah, I mean, it feels good to be able to contribute to the city, to the state. Hey right, Brandon, there's a lot of great vendors here and, and really they're all local, either people like you who cook at the festival or have food trucks. I mean, they, this is, they're, they're, the cuisine is, is very extreme and, and there's a variety. That's correct, there's a lot of variety, lots of choices for anybody who wants to come out, check it out. All right, Two Bros Kitchen, just one of the many vendors here at the 87th Annual International Rice Festival. It rolls till midnight tonight, midnight tomorrow, and finishes up on Sunday with the carnival. So please come out. The weather is beautiful. Come out and enjoy this great food from all these lovely vendors. All right, for Drake Carr, I'm Jeff Horchak, live in Crowley. Back to you guys.